introduce Mike Fadel, who is the Executive Vice President of uh, SEIU 1199 United Healthcare Workers East. It's a 300,000 member healthcare local um, union that stretches all the way from Massachusetts to Washington. And they have been extraordinary in the way they've been accommodating um, this crazy group of volunteers that wanted to host an event like this. It's, um, there's really nothing more that they could have done for us. And so I want to thank him and, and introduce him and welcome you all. Thanks so much, Stella. And um, you know, there's a lot of things that people could be doing on a Saturday morning. And so we're thrilled that we could be here, that we could be hosting uh, you in this space. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled with the promise that's before us as organizers, as volunteers. I know everybody worked their hearts and their hands and their shoe leather off last summer, last fall, throughout the course of this campaign. And it's an amazing arc of history that we're in right now. I was privileged to be at the 40th anniversary commemoration of Martin Luther King's assassination with a number of other officers from 1199, including uh, my colleague, who's now the political director in the White House, Patrick Gaspard, and we were reflecting after that and throughout the campaign trail of where we've come from, where we're going, and the promise that's before us. And I think it's the work of all of you and thousands just like us across the country that's brought to, to this to this day, to this moment, the promise of, a, of uh, all that we've been working for. Lastly, I just want to say, um, you know, there's th lots of whether it's in history books or magazine articles or newspapers, uh, people talk about events in the passive voice. Such and such happened. Such and such, such and such occurred. Um, an election was held. We know that none of this happens in the passive voice. It happens because volunteers and organizers like all of you knocked doors, made phone calls, got out of your comfort zone, talked to your aunt who might be a Republican and still didn't give up, spoke to your brother who maybe was a little like this and still dragged him out. And, and uh, all together, we did that work. It didn't just happen. And the promise that's before us of healthcare for all, of an economy that works for all, of an ed education system that lays the foundation for our children and for our youth, isn't going to just happen. And that's why you're here today. If it happens, it's going to happen because of the work of each and every one of you continuing the phone calls, continuing the, the meetings, continuing the door knocking. So thank you so much. We're, we're proud and delighted that we're partners with you here today. Have a terrific day, and let's go and organize the country.